Dan Orlovsky uh, is... I just think his eye, he got yeah. the job at ESPN yeah. because of these video breakdowns that he did constantly on Twitter. He's phenomenal. This is, he said, and I remember what he said because I watched it too today, mm -hmm. Ryan. I'm going to back you on mm -hmm. this one because what Dan said in this particular moment actually make me be okay with taking Anthony Richardson. I'm going to tell you what he said. He said, if you look at the structure in Carolina or Houston, Houston's mm -hmm. coming along fast. Mm -hmm. Like what Houston did in turn, kind of like what the Detroit Lions mm -hmm. did in turn. Like it, I don't want to give them too much credit because we have, you know, so whatever. But they're turning their season around. Like Carolina did the same, turned it around. Like they got things moving. They got uh, the quarterback situation, the offensive coordinator down there. They got uh, Frank Wright. They know what they're doing down there. So pretty much. They're going to be able to groom anybody to be a decent quarterback, correct? He said, but the difference is it's the ceilings. Like, I already know if I'm going to put Anthony Richardson in a situation with Frank Wright, he'll be a successful quarterback. Mm -hmm. Like, he'll be good. He can be good. But the ceilings, he said, if Anthony Richardson is anything like we believe his projection to be, he will be not a good player. C.J. Stroud would be a good player if the projections are right. Anthony Richardson will be the best player player on the field in most games that he steps into mm. and I just let that sit for a second and was like damn he's right like there is a good situation there he's going to at least have some type of success what that success looks like it may be winning the division it may be getting to a Super Bowl but if he's the projected form of himself he's gonna be the best player on the field and usually the teams with the best players on the field what do they do Ryan they win championships